At the Beijing airport, 40 Chinese investors embark on a mission to open their wallets on the other side of the world and buy a house in the United States. The price is right, says lawyer Yin Guahua. For him, it will be a home away from home, a place to stay on business, and quite simply, an opportunity to get a deal. It sounds cheap, says this businesswoman, but I'll have to see it with my own eyes. Their journey will take them on a tour of bargain and foreclosure properties, from L.A. to Las Vegas, San Francisco, Boston and New York. Yin says he's been watching the U.S. housing market for two years. He's willing to spend up to a million dollars and pay it all at once. This could be a positive stimulus for the American economy, he says. He's a family man who already owns three properties in Beijing. Our son will have a place to stay when he goes to America for school someday, his wife says. The house hunting trip is being run by a Chinese real estate brokerage, SoFun.com. The company says it received hundreds of applications for just 40 spots from Chinese eager to invest overseas. But it's raised questions. Are the Chinese capitalizing on the misfortune of Americans in the subprime mortgage crisis? And is this the start of a dangerous flow of capital out of China when China's own economy is slowing down? It is still a very, very small fraction of the purchasing power here in China. So I don't think, you know, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, you know, small group of people, uh, because of their personal interest or their, uh, for whatever reason, it's going to affect China's demand for, for properties. Foreigners can buy property in the U.S. under fairly simple guidelines. They may have to make a bigger down payment or pay more taxes. And investment experts say China's restrictions on transferring money out of the country are relatively easy to navigate. Yin has his eyes on a few homes in New York and L.A., but like any smart investor, he says he won't make a deal unless it's a good one. Emily Chang, CNN, Beijing.